the capital interior principal secretary dr raymond omolo was uh, somewhere else he paid a visit to a chief in bondo that's in Sierra County, whose house was torched by protesters during the anti-government demonstrations. And the PS also assessed the security situation down Nyanza region, where he expressed concerns about the attacks on security agents and officials. Willie Lusige accompanied him on our reports. A week after violent protests rocked parts of the country, Interior Principal Secretary Raymond Omolo toured Nyanza region and assessed the security situation of Siaya County. During his official tour, he called upon a chief in Bondo whose house was set ablaze by protesters during the anti-government demonstrations. Walter Omolo's three houses were touched by a mob that accused him of working with the police to zero in on protesters. We are here to reaffirm government commitment for the control or for the maintenance of law and order and we are here to urge Kenyans that uh, we must be law-abiding citizens. Omolo expressing his displeasure with civil societies that have been accusing the police of using excessive force against protesters while it is the security officers that have been affected more by the protests. The PS says one police officer lost his life while 305 were injured during the anti-government protest led by the opposition in different parts of the country. On the side of the government, uh, our security officers have bore the brunt of uh, those demonstrations. We have lost uh, an officer because of that. We have uh, over 300 police officers who have sustained uh, serious injuries. In Siaya County alone, one house was torched, 18 police officers were injured, 17 members of public were also injured, and 14 police vehicles destroyed. We had 48 police officers who were injured during that time. We had 17 members of the public who were attacked. While Omolo defended the law enforcers against the accusations that they perpetrated brute force against demonstrators, he emphasized that Kenya Kwanzaa government abides by the rule of the law and respects the right to hold peaceful demonstrations. And we have uh, evidence pointing to guns in civilian arm, uh, hands mm -hmm. being used in, uh, in these demonstrations to, to make it difficult for Kenyans who are not interested in participating in the demonstrations to go on about their lives. The Ministry of Interior officials also held a closed-door meeting with security representatives in the area as local leaders called for the talks between President Ruto and Azimio leader Raila Odinga. I'm glad that uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa coalition has invited Azimio for a conversation around issues. I think uh, both parties should stop just thumping and find a, a makeable solution. The Ministry of Interior has called on police to respect the right of protesters but also has cautioned Kenyans against destruction of property. Willy Lusige Kete News, Jaramogi University, Bondo, in Tiaya. Right, those are stories we are following up for you and uh, when details come we will be reporting on them. On them.